last class. Yes, yes. yes. We're going to be our, our objective for today. Three, two, one. Objective today I will use benchmark multiplication facts to figure out other multiplication facts. And of course, we know that we are working with our four multiplication facts. So. This is what we will do, and Senorita Vides and I will model for you, okay? You're going to take all your little post-its that you have on your desk and just put them in order here on your desk. You don't need to do that right now, just in a second. So you have four times one, four times two, four times three, and so on until you get to four times ten. So it's good to, look, to make sure that you have all of them. And then you're going to remove all of them except for 4 times 1, 4 times 5, and 4 times 10. Those are our benchmark <coughs> multiplication facts. And then you're going to place the other ones on your desk. It doesn't, they don't need to be in any kind of order. Just put them somewhere where you can see them. And with your partner, you will take one of them at a time and place them in the right place here, kind of like a number line. Okay? But you need to use one of the facts that's already here to figure out what the product of these ones are. Okay? So let me give you an example. I'm going to take four times eight. I know that four times I know that four times eight is four groups of eight is 32, or eight groups of four is 32, because I know that 10 groups of four is 40. And if I take two groups away, that would be 32. Four, 32. Because when you said four times 10, it's 40. And one times four equals four. 40 minus four is 36. And also 36 is plus four. Uh, four times also uh, two times two times zero, but uh, it's equal to four times nine. So I know that four times nine equals thirty. No, that is twenty-eight. Yeah, twenty-four. Because four times nine is equal to twenty-four. What's another way to think of it? You were pointing at this one. How does that one help you with four times seven? That one helps by, okay, so it's 20, um, four times five is 20, right? And if you add four, if you add two more groups of four, that'll be, uh, that's going to be 28. Four times five is equal to twenty plus another group 